Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug uh, with a video on distinct. So this is a way of removing duplicates, but uh, sort of in a dumb way uh, without knowledge of the underlying tables. Um, but that's also uh, can be a performance uh, enhancement. So we'll, we'll cover those issues. So let's consider this uh, selection from the products table. Product ID is the primary key, an attribute there is the name, and then a foreign key is the supplier ID. So we can see that these three products are all from the same supplier. And notice that I've got duplicates, duplicating values from the supplier ID. Now let's say that I just want a list of the suppliers in the products table. And notice that I get a row for every row in the products table and I see duplicates. So if I don't want the duplicates I can use the distinct keyword and think of distinct being used this way applies to the select clause. You put it in the select clause and it applies to all the fields that are in the field list in the select uh, clause. So um, now we have 30 different suppliers in the products table and uh, these are the different values that are found in that column and notice that it does treat null as a value. It's an unknown value but it's a value. So you might be looking at this and saying well if you just want a list of suppliers why don't you go over into the suppliers table and just get the list of suppliers over there. And uh, that's a great suggestion except it's just a different list, right? So um, you know what's in the suppliers table may not be what's in the products table right and uh, you can think of the suppliers table as this is everybody it's people that we that supply us products it's maybe potential suppliers maybe we got a big list of suppliers from a mailing list or some other source and we dumped it into the table it doesn't mean we that they supply us any products so you can think of the list from the products table as people who actually definitively supply us a product. So it's just different and uh, this is the way to get a unique list of those suppliers that supply us products. So let's look at another example. Uh, this is a table I've created. It's just a person table and uh, I've got about 1300 rows in there and uh, I'm looking for the first names of everybody. So notice that four people have null first names and that uh, some of these unique first names or distinctive uh, don't occur multiple times but now we're getting into some that are more common so we've got a bunch of Amy's uh, a bunch of Andrews a bunch of Angela's right so we have some some repeats so what if I want a list of distinct like the different first names I can use distinct on that and again notice that now my list is 600 one of them is null uh, so that is one of the unique values even though it's unknown right so you might also be thinking well I could do the same thing with a group by and you'd be right so here's that example it gives the same record 600 of them it includes the null and basically I'm saying show me the first name from person grouping by first name so uh, it always will give you the same records the difference is that it's actually doing quite a bit more work it's it's actually taking those 1300 records and arranging them into groups by first name in preparation to maybe do a sum or a count or some kind of an aggregation function and tell you something about the group and the only thing we really want to know about the group is what's the first name right so that's a lot of extra work when we're not really we don't care whether the things are grouped we just want a unique list now if you think about what distinct has to do is that distinct is only going to give me a unique list it doesn't group records it can rip through the records from beginning to, to last and just pull out those uh, a first name and say have I seen this first name before and if it hasn't then it throws it out so it's a much faster in a way um, but much dumber way of doing things and it just depends on on what you want so this is going to be slower than saying select distinct right so this is preferred if all you really want is a unique list 
Now, another usage of distinct is in aggregations, in uh, particular the count uh, of people. So I'm going to run this, and we'll talk about each piece of this. So um, here I'm counting the the IDs, and of course ID is the primary key. So I uh, get a count of all of them. So there's no nulls in the primary key, and it's unique. So selecting the count of ID is exactly the same as selecting the count of distinct ID. In other words, the number of different primary key values is the same as the number of records. That's by definition of a primary key. Now, if I count the first name, um, I get a count of almost everybody. But notice that there's four missing, and those are the four null first names. So recall how count works. Count will count all the non-null values in a column. So count of first name ignores those four nulls. Now if I count distinct first name, notice that I get 599 because one of those distinct values was a null, and here it does not get counted. Right, so normally there were 600 results in select distinct first name, and here one of them goes away because it's a null. There we go. So the other thing about null is that it's a little bit dumb. It doesn't really know anything about the underlying records. It doesn't know what the primary key is. Um, so what it's going to do is just give you the list of distinct first names. And notice that now if I go to select l last name, that I get a different set of records, and I get a different number of records. So I get a 1,021 here. So uh, it doesn't know anything about person. It just looks at this these columns here and says, let me make those columns unique. And when I use more than one field, so in this case I have gender and first name, what it's going to do is create unique records based on the combination of those two fields. Again, it doesn't know that ID is the primary key for that. It's just going to say that F and null is a unique combination, and it's distinct from F and ADA as a combination. So it's going to get rid of those, those uh, combinations or make the uniqueness apply to combinations, but it doesn't know anything about the underlying table, right? Or it just kind of ignores that. So again, that's kind of good and bad. It's, it's fast, all right? It doesn't have to think much, uh, but at the same time, you just need to understand how it's going to work. Um, and it applies to uh, all the fields in the selects clause. So if I had 18 fields in there, it would make a unique combination of all of those fields. So in summary, distinct is a way of removing duplicates, um, but it's based on the values of the resulting records. It removes uh, based on all the fields in the select list. So um, you know, it, it just kind of treats this as a record and uh, makes it unique. Uh, when used with count, it will not count duplicate values. And of course, count is going to ignore nulls or not count null values. So thanks for watching.